Well, welcome back. So, I'm on my new bike, the Honda Hunter Cub, and I'm just getting used to everything, getting used to the gears and my video setup. Unfortunately, I don't have image stabilisation, so everything's going to be a bit jerky. I'll and I'm just getting used to changing the gears and everything else. So I'll just pull in here. No, I won't. I'll pull in there. There we go. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> There's neutral. Right, there you go. Hope you can see that. So I've done a few things to it. I've uh, put some weld underneath this, drilled a hole, tapped it, helicoiled it. So now I've got two mount points, not just the one. I fitted the bark busters on it and fitted the front rack, headlight rack. And also I've wired in the sat-nav connector so that it turns on with the ignition. And I've got an EC5 connector under the seat that goes directly to the battery. And I'll just put a handlebar brace on it. So that's it for now. I've done 106 kilometres. When I got it, it was three years old, so this is a 2021 model, JA55. I got it in January 24, 2024. It had six miles on it. So essentially brand new. First thing I did was I fitted a magnetic drain plug on it and changed the oil. So I'm using Power One Racing. Uh, Castrol, which is the one I like. I had that in the Triumph. So I'll just show you how I did all those little things to it. So the first thing to do is to remove the covers. I'm not really going to show all this because there's loads of stuff online and there's some quite good videos about taking all the plastic off. I'm going to take this off as well because I'm going to wire in the USB. Just two sneaky puppets under these there so there's a puppet there and a puppet there so you start by undoing these two screws either side of the headlight 
to get the headlight off. And then the headlight just lifts out. And then this just unclips. And you take the headlight away. And then the wires I've picked up on. Are in this connector. And I've tapped in to the yellow and black uh, yellow and black yellow stripe and black cable and the earth I've picked up from the green lead on one of the indicators so and I'll just take that back into the loom like that and I'll just put a bit of sleeving on there to tidy that up and then we'll clip that back in, make sure that's all all right, and then cable tie it up. And then that's going to tuck down through there and then just plug the headlight back in and button it up and then just replace the screws at either side of the headlight That's done. Now I'm going to be putting um, these super seal connectors on because although it's primarily for the sat nav, because this is a switched 12 volts, I'd like the ability to plug other stuff into it if need be. So I'm not going to film how to wire these up because there's plenty of stuff online. I'll just cut the end off the socket just to make a waterproof cover for it. So that's okay. And I'll show you with the sat nav on when I put the rack on. So that's it mounted, sat nav mounted on the bar and the sat nav comes on, shoot them and turn it off. And the sat nav turns off. Poifik. And then I've got the ability to plug other things in. So I'm just going to route the cable for the USB charger while I've got that off. And I think I'll go up there. I think that's going to be a good, good route for it. So I've got this USB charger because it shows the voltage of the battery as well, which I thought was quite a good idea. It's positive. That's negative. And I've got a shroud coming for that. So I want to leave a bit of slack here. Uh, 
that's better. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. I think I'll root it through there. Good, so I've got an inline fuse to put in here. So I'll cut this back a little bit. So for this jump, uh, jump lead, I've got these three, got these three bolts here. So I'm just going to do. Pop it here. I'll take this off as well, make it easier. Take the battery cover off. Gotta be careful you don't drop those. I dropped one that side into the engine, it was a devil of a job to get out. This one here. Just move that out of the way. And I'll just get the terminals off. So these are I wired this earlier. So I just wanted to get some sleeving on. I just want to cable tie that in. Right, get the filter back on. Good. Good. 
you know, pop it anywhere. Yep. So I decided to wire in an inline fuse for the USB charger. So I just connect those two up now. I'm going to poke them through this hole. Well that was a real fiddle, it's in, but this doesn't fit properly. There's too many wires in here. So I'm going to have to rethink that. It's all right for now, but I might have to reroute some wires or rethink where I'm running them. Anyway, I think that will do for now. It's buttoned up. So I put the panels back together. So that all clipped in quite nicely. So, there you go. I've got this that goes on and off. Reading 12.8 at the moment on the battery. I've got the sat nav comes on with the ignition. And I've got a switch 12 volt supply there that I can plug other stuff into. I think it's quite good that I can read the voltage of the battery and then it's on and off so that you don't drain the battery when not needed. And here I've got a EC5 connector that goes directly to the battery. It's got 10 AWG silicon wire that takes 140 amps. And these plugs and sockets will take 40 amps nominal and then 90 maximum. All of my stuff is with EC5 connectors. So the voltage there is 12.64 and there it's 12.6. So I think the USB voltmeter is quite accurate. And that just tucks in there and the seat closes properly so it doesn't crush the wire. So as I put things on it and do things and do the green laning, I'll put updates on Bikeovation. I'm planning on doing uh, the Ridgeway again and I'm also planning on doing the Foss, Foss Way. So I'm quite lucky in Wiltshire, we've got quite a few green lanes of which I intend to do some. I don't find this at all intimidating like I did the XR 250. The XR 250, too tall for me. If I'd learnt when I was 17 it had been fine but at 65 or whatever it was when I got it, it was uh, just too late on in life to be a bit reckless. So I can put my feet down on this. I don't find it intimidating. Nice little thing to ride. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's helpful. Catch you later.